Hello there, my name is Robin94 and by popular request I am making a video for swinging doors in Mapster32 for Duke Nukem 3D. I've been getting a lot of comments on my old videos, people asking uh, how to make swinging doors and well they're a bit different than normal doors but they're not that hard to make once you know it and uh, yeah let's uh, get to it and I hope you will uh, enjoy this video and get to know how to make those swinging doors. Uh, now please excuse me because I'm not very used to Mapster 32 anymore but I still kinda know how it works but I'm very much used to Doom, Doom Builder uh, so yeah uh, firstly I'm gonna make a big sector by pressing the space key and just dragging my mouse along the screen and I'm sp I'm on purpose telling you wh what keys I'm pressing just for the people who don't know the keys that well so they can you know uh, keep getting reminded which keys to press. Uh, now firstly I am going to press insert to make a bit a few walls over here. I'm just gonna put them over here. Uh, wait, those, this is a bit too long, but let's make them a bit shorter. Um, like this. And I'm gonna make walls in between just because I'm gonna make multiple doors and just show you uh, which ways you can make them. Well, I'm just gonna have to make this a bit longer like that and I'm gonna press control delete at these two sectors to delete it so now I have these solid walls and I'm gonna make four swinging doors over here to show you uh, the different ways. Um, firstly I'm gonna go into 3D mode by pressing my num key enter. So now in 3D mode you can see the uh, ugly texture so I'm just gonna texturize uh, everything with some basic textures. Um, I'll just skip through. So I've texturized everything, made some snowy ground and made the uh, red air in the sky. It's pretty nice so everything has textures now. Uh, now I'm going to go back into uh, the 2D mode and show you how to make the uh, doors. So here we are in 2D mode. Um, let's see, uh, we can start by uh, creating a sector but this will be like, uh, you'll want to make it, uh, well you have different choices, uh, I'll just show you uh, one of two choices you can basically make. Uh, you can. Uh, uh, firstly, you'll want to press L to uh, unlock the grid, so you won't be putting dots on the uh, X marks. So you can just freely uh, place your dots. So you can either make like an outside door, which basically goes like this. You'll, you'll see it in the end, but. Uh, if you just zoom in enough on the last dot it should connect like it didn't connect this time but if I just zoom in precisely then it connected and now I can just move it over here or something uh, I'm gonna hold my mouse inside and press alt s so it will get like a red outlining which means it will be like a, a door with a, a where you can jump over or something but you don't have to do it I think Oh well, yeah, yeah, you have to actually because it's a sector, so you have to do it. So it's like going to be an outside door, and you can also make like an inside door, which will be basically the same like that. Drag it along to the right, to the right. Just try connecting it. If you have a hard tr time connecting uh, the final dot, you can also just lock it and then move it on a locked position over here and then unlock it and move the dot like uh, for example if this would be the door I would be making I'd just make a square like this then unlock it and make a door out of it something like that that would be possible uh, so I'm gonna press Alt S on this one again and now I'm gonna go back into two, uh, 3D mode now you cannot see anything yet but I will change that because they are still on the ground uh, not like this. So, for example, I'm just making uh, a 
the door over here. You can either put it like to the ceiling if you want. It doesn't really matter. And here's the inside door. Hold on. It's pretty hard because my mouse is not at the place where it's aiming. It's very weird. You can also just grab the top and make it like a... Uh, Hold on, I'll just show you. You can also just... Uh, many levels that use this, like you can... Uh, ah, there you go. You can just grab the top, you know, and make like a, a bathroom stall uh, kind of uh, door, you know, that you can look under, see people's feet. So you can do it either way, it doesn't really matter. But like, as you can see, this is like an inside door because it doesn't stick out and this is like an outside door it sticks out so you can use either it's just whatever you want I'm just gonna give some textures uh, to the doors should be like a basic door texture but of course when I'm recording I cannot find it hold on so I did find like a door texture not the one I actually wanted but I'm pressing tab right now to copy the texture and then I'm gonna press enter over all the sides of the door so I can uh, paste all the door uh, textures. Same goes for this one. Not even sure if I'm gonna make four doors because actually I have enough with this. Um, but yeah, now you'll see it's a bit harder because it's not sticking out. So like the texture is like over here, all hidden. So I need to get my mouse over there and. Not sure it's pretty useless to well if you want to nitpick you can also try getting the texture in there but it's, yeah it just depends how. Also uh, when making uh, these doors you can see like the handle is on the right so you'll most likely want it to spin uh, on the left side. But like if I go on the other side you see it's flipped so you'll need to press F to flip the texture just for some extra details because the door handle will be on the same side as you can see it's one thing to keep in mind uh, also I'm just gonna yeah, move this texture a bit this is not the ideal texture I think but it will do for this tutorial purpose but like uh, yeah uh, I'm gonna go back into uh, 3D mode sorry 2D mode oh, I keep getting confused between that like I said, I'm very rusty when it comes to Mapster, but I do know how to make things. Uh, so yeah, back into 2D mode. Here we are back in 2D mode, and uh, we basically have our two doors over here. Uh, first of all, you'll want to give it a low tag uh, by pressing T, just T, uh, with your mouse inside the, the sector of the door, and give it a low tag of 23. Do that to e both doors. And it will say uh, sp swing door. Now it will say SE11 over here and over here as well, which means it wants you to make a sector uh, effector of 11. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to place uh, a sprite over here. I'm going to go back into uh, 3D mode. And now back in 3D mode, we have our sprite. And we're going to press V, put on the sector effector. And I'm going to place multiple because there's going to be one for that door as well. And I'm going to make like a sound effect. Uh, wait, let me delete that one first. I'm going to make also a sound effects, uh, yeah, music and sound effects uh, sprite, which is this one. And I'm going to add another one. Just like that. Because each door is going to have like its own... Uh, sound effects and stuff. So now I'm going to go back into 2D mode. So now back in 2D mode, um, I'm going to put, uh, I'm, firstly I'm going to give both uh, sector effectors a low tag by pressing Alt T and you're going to give it a low tag of 11 and it will say rotate sector door, which is a reference to, you know, this one it wants you a sector effector 11. And now you're going to put the sector effector inside your door uh, by unlocking with L so you can freely place it. Now you'll want to move the sector effector as close as possible to the corner of which you want your door to rotate. So for example, uh, 
we're gonna make this door, the first one, we're gonna make it rotate outside, downwards. And we're gonna make this door uh, rotate inwards. So what we'll want to do is, so firstly you'll want to move your sprite around with the dot and comma keys. And the, me the, the, the direction it's pointing at will determine the way the door will be uh, rotating to. And we, because we want this door to go downwards, we will be putting this sprite downwards, like this, with a line downwards, and move it as closely possible to this corner. Alright, that's everything. And I'm just gonna, for ease, add the music and sound effects. Now this is kind of funny because uh, you can uh, press Alt T to give it a low tech which will be the sound it will play on opening the door. So we'll give it a low tech of 165 and you can also give it a high tech which I will be doing and I will also give it 165. Now you see a circle appear normally it would be like the volume or something of the sound but in this case it's not, it's actually the, set, the high tech will determine the sound it will make when closing the door. So this will be playing the same sound when you close it and open it. And it will be going downwards because the sector effector is facing downwards. And now we'll do the same over here, make the sector effector. And we can either choose this one or just this one. Well, we'll go with this corner. Oh, accidentally grabbed it. We'll go with this one and we'll give it a low tag of 11 by pressing Alt T. And now I'm gonna put this music and sound effect thingy as well. And I accidentally gave it a low tag of 11 apparently. So I'm gonna give it a low tag of 165 but I'm gonna give it a high tag of 166 which will be a different sound. So it will be make two different sounds. Okay that's that. Oh, and there's one thing I forgot before uh, finishing your door. Uh, these two doors, um, they have both. They both have a sector effector. Yeah, you'll want to uh, give each door in the map you're gonna make uh, have a unique uh, high tag by pressing Alt Alt H. So I'm just gonna give this one a one, and the other sector effector is gonna get a high tag of two. Sorry, that was accidentally the wall. Just make sure it's the sector effector you're giving a high tag that's different of the other one because otherwise both doors will open at the same time whenever you're opening uh, whenever you're opening one door. So yeah, now I'm gonna test the uh, test it for you and I will show you uh, how they work. Okay, so I'm in Duke Nukem 3D. I'm gonna open the map. Come get some. I'm not sure why I choose come get some. I just automatically do. So we didn't need to make any extra doors as of yet. So I'm gonna be a bit quiet. Also I didn't ex add a texture over here in the inside. You will see that in a moment. But I will be quiet so you can hear the door sounds. And there's the other door which is the inside door which will go inside. And you can see because I gave it like uh, the sound effect, a high tag, uh, that was different than the low tag. It chose a different sound. So basically when I open it, it makes a normal sound because it's 165. And then when I close it, the high tag tag of the sound effect goes in, which is 166, which is this sound. So you can see the texture over here is not the same door texture. So it's best if you change it and not leave it like that so it will become pretty like this door you know except the fact that over here you cannot see the texture over here I think oh you can so over here yeah it's nicely done over here I forgot it because I was too lazy but yeah so uh, yeah like I said this these are the kind of uh, swing doors you can make as far as I know it's probably other possibilities as well but these are your s simple swing doors you can either make them like this go up to the ceiling go like this have them inside the wall or stick have them stick outside of the wall it's whatever you like and then you can decide if they either 
swing outside or swing inside like this or like that. So yeah, uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching and I hope you learned from uh, this tutorial. Uh, thank you very much for the support and please uh, keep commenting if you want me to cover anything else to make in Mapster. I don't know everything but I do know a lot of stuff so if there's anything I can help you guys with uh, I really appreciate doing it for you and I appreciate the support and I, that I get you know people commenting commenting saying that my videos are one of the few on YouTube that are really helpful so it really means a lot to me so yeah again thank you for watching and uh, let's uh, hope the map creating community for these old school games will grow currently I'm more focused on making doom maps because brutal doom got me pretty addicted though I always yeah, <laughs> did Duke Nukem 3D. I was more of a Duke Nukem 3D guy, and now I'm more of a Doom guy. But still love both games. I love every old school shooter. So yeah, let's uh, keep this community growing. Keep on making those maps, and uh, hope to see you next time. And let me know if you want me to uh, explain other stuff. Thanks for watching.